Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're focusing on a simple, familiar medicine, aspirin, and the growing evidence that it can help stop cancer from spreading. We'll examine how it influences your immune system what research says about dosing and duration, and where a natural alternative such as willow bark might fit. Joining me is Alara Skye, who brings clear, well-researched insight to each discussion. Thank you, Ethan. The link between low-dose aspirin and cancer prevention has gained traction because metastasis, cancer's ability to migrate to new organs, causes roughly 90% of cancer deaths. Researchers trace aspirin's benefit to its effect on T cells, the immune system's frontline soldiers against roaming tumor cells. By strengthening these cells' mobility and vigilance, aspirin appears to reduce the likelihood that malignant cells will seed new growths elsewhere in the body. Before we get into the mechanism, let's define metastasis in straightforward terms. A primary tumor sheds cells that enter the bloodstream or lymphatic system, then establish secondary tumors in organs such as the lungs, liver, or bones. Once cancer spreads, treatment becomes far more complex. Therefore, any strategy that keeps cancer confined or prevents spread after initial treatment could dramatically improve survival. Exactly. Laboratory studies show that aspirin blocks platelet-derived mediators that typically slow T-cell movement. When those mediators are suppressed, T-cells regain their capacity to patrol the circulation and destroy circulating tumor cells. A 2025 Nature study reported fewer secondary growths in animal models given low-dose aspirin, reinforcing the idea that immune enhancement, not direct tumor toxicity, is the key benefit. Platelets normally help blood clot, but they also cloak cancer cells, making them less visible to immune surveillance. Aspirin's antiplatelet effect disrupts this cloak, exposing malignant cells to T-cell attack. That dual impact, reducing platelet protection and re-energizing T-cells, creates a less hospitable environment for metastatic spread. Current evidence suggests the protective effect is achievable with daily doses between 75 and 300 milligrams. Importantly, extended use matters. Analyses show that individuals taking low-dose aspirin consistently for five to seven and a half years experience the most pronounced reductions in colorectal and other cancer deaths. Higher doses do not appear to offer additional anti-cancer advantage, but do increase bleeding risk so minimal effective dosing is preferred. Many listeners may already take 81 milligrams for cardiovascular reasons. Based on the data, that same dose could carry anti-cancer benefits, provided it is continued long-term. What about combining aspirin with other supportive nutrients, specifically vitamin C? Some preclinical work suggests synergy. Correct. Vitamin C exerts its own anti-tumor activity by generating oxidative stress within cancer cells while sparing healthy tissue. When paired with aspirin, studies demonstrate stronger suppression of malignant cell growth than either agent alone. The combination remains less damaging to normal cells than conventional chemotherapeutic regimens, which further elevates its appeal for long-term preventive use. Of course, not everyone tolerates aspirin. Gastrointestinal sensitivity, allergy, or anticoagulation therapy might rule it out. For those cases, willow bark provides a natural route to similar pharmacology. Your body converts aspirin to salicylic acid, the active metabolite. Yet willow bark already contains salicin, which the body transforms into salicylic acid more gradually and often with fewer stomach complaints. Willow bark's therapeutic record stretches back centuries, spanning Egyptian, Greek, and indigenous medical traditions. Unlike isolated acetyl salicylic acid, Willow bark delivers a matrix of polyphenols and flavonoids that temper inflammation while moderating release of salicin. That broader phytochemical profile can lessen gastrointestinal irritation and deliver a balanced anti-inflammatory effect, making it valuable for people who require a gentler option. Dosage equivalence matters. Listeners often ask, if I skip aspirin, how much willow bark should I take? Standardized extracts containing 15% salicin offer measurable benchmarks. To approximate the salicylic acid produced from an 81 mg aspirin tablet, guidelines suggest 400 to 800 mg of such an extract. 
for an effect similar to 111 mg of aspirin, the range rises to 500 mg up to a gram per day. Regardless of the source, pharmaceutical or botanical, the central principle remains. Sustained, low-dose exposure appears to support T-cell surveillance and discourage metastatic spread. When combined with an overall anti-inflammatory lifestyle, including nutrient-dense food, adequate sleep, and stress control, aspirin or willow bark can form part of a broader strategy aimed at long-term cellular resilience. Summarizing the research so far, we see five key points. First, metastasis, not the primary tumor, drives the majority of cancer mortality. Second, aspirin hinders metastatic progression by blocking platelet-derived suppression of T-cells. Third, effective daily dosing ranges from 75 to 300 milligrams, with the greatest impact emerging after at least five years of consistent use. Fourth, vitamin C augments aspirin's anti-cancer effects. Fifth, willow bark extract offers a plant-based substitute for those who cannot take aspirin. Let's address a few common questions. Does aspirin prevent cancer outright? Evidence is strongest for limiting spread, not necessarily eliminating initial tumor formation, though some studies hint at reduced incidence for certain cancers. How long before benefits appear? Meta-analyses indicate meaningful risk reductions begin after about half a decade of uninterrupted use. What about bleeding? The anti-cancer advantage must be weighed against gastrointestinal or intracranial bleed risk, highlighting the importance of personal medical guidance. That brings us to implementation. Listeners considering low-dose aspirin should first review their full medication list and bleeding history with a qualified practitioner. Selecting an immediate release additive minimal product maximizes purity. If opting for willow bark, choose a standardized extract and follow dosages aligned with the salicin concentrations we've outlined. Consistency, rather than episodic use, underpins the immune supportive effect. Looking ahead, Ongoing trials will clarify aspirin's role alongside immunotherapies and targeted agents. Early data suggests that by keeping T cells active, aspirin may enhance response rates to newer cancer treatments. Researchers are also exploring whether intermittent dosing schedules could capture benefits while further reducing bleeding risk. For now, the daily low-dose protocol remains the evidence-based approach for metastasis suppression. We've covered mechanism, dosage, duration, synergy with vitamin C, and a viable botanical alternative. These insights transform aspirin from a simple analgesic into a potential ally in cancer defense. As always, integrate any new supplement or medication into a comprehensive wellness plan rather than relying on a single intervention. That concludes our examination of aspirin's emerging place in oncology prevention. Consistent, low-dose use helps empower T cells, dismantle platelet protection of tumor cells, and curb metastatic ambition. For those unable to tolerate aspirin, willow bark offers comparable biochemical support. Discuss these options with your healthcare professional to determine suitability within your personalized protocol. Thank you for joining us on Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We aim to translate complex science into actionable steps for everyday health. If today's discussion on aspirin and metastasis prevention sparked new ideas for your regimen, Share this episode with someone who might benefit and revisit prior episodes for additional strategies. We appreciate your time and commitment to informed self-care. Stay engaged, stay proactive, and join us next time as we continue uncovering practical insights for cellular health on Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.